In this video, I would like to share with you guys about credit cards. Hi guys, my name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present where we discuss business, finance, and life-related matters. If you're interested about those topics, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. Now guys, I want to, really, I want to share with you about credit cards today because a lot of people think that if you have one, you are in debt automatically. At the same time, people think that it's always bad if you have a credit card. But actually, there are a lot of privileges and advantages if you know how to maximize the power of credit cards. In our case, we currently have three credit cards. The two is for our business, right? We have business A, which is the present. And we also have another business, which is about digital marketing agency. And we also have one credit card for our personal finance, which means for our essentials like groceries and for our personal needs. Okay, so those are the three credit cards that we have. And the reason why I'm sh I want to share this with you, it's because if you just know how to make or how to take advantage of this, you will reap more of the benefits and you will not have any problems when it comes to debt. If you wanna know about that, then keep on watching this video. Now, here we go. There are three things I would like to share. Number one, the advantage of having a credit card is that you can maximize cash flow. What do I mean? So there are moments that you may not have the cash right now because you're waiting for your client to pay or um, you're waiting for the funds to be cleared for the bank or whatsoever reason, right? You can maximize the power of credit card by swiping it and then just make sure that you're swiping because you need those things, not just because you're, you're gonna swipe because you have a, a lot of or like a huge credit limit, okay? And the moment your billing statement will come on the next month, right? then that's the time you're gonna pay for it. So instead of you paying for it now cash, but you don't have it yet, right? Because it's in the process of accounts receivables, it's just, it's still coming in, okay? For how many days, you can swipe it and then pay it on the next month. When I say pay it on the next month, I'm not referring to the minimum amount. I'm referring to the outstanding balance. Whatever the outstanding balance is, that's the amount that you should pay, not the minimum amount. Why? Because the moment you pay the minimum amount, you're digging yourself into a hole. Why? Because interest charges will apply. Finance charge and whatever charges that they're, they're going to charge you with. And that's not a pleasant experience. Okay? So the moment you receive your statement of account from, from the credit card company, you have to make sure that the outstanding balance has to be settled before the due date. If you pay after the due date, even if you pay the whole amount, uh, there is a huge chance that you will be charged an interest on the next month because you paid late. Okay, so that's the first one. You can maximize the power of credit card because of cash flow. The second thing is rewards. What do I mean by rewards? These credit card companies, they are partnering with different merchants. Like for example, I'm just gonna name some brands here. BDO, right? If you swipe this amount, which is usually swipe 3,000 pesos worth of any expenses, a minimum of 3,000 pesos, and you're gonna get 100 GC from Sodexo or whatsoever, right? So you're spending the money, you're spending, you're using your credit card for 3,000 pesos. Let's say you need that 3,000 pesos for your groceries and you get an additional 100 GC, right? So it's like saying you're already spending and you, you are being rewarded by spending money. But here's the catch. You also have to be careful because there are some people and i really don't like this way of doing uh, like of how people are doing it is this let's say they get a promo email or let a promo message saying that all you have to do is swipe five thousand pesos and you will get um 200 pesos worth of gc in a certain restaurant right so what will what they do is that they will force themselves to spend five thousand pesos just to get the 200 peso GC. Now, is that a wise move? No. It is not a wise move. Why? Because you are, the thing that you're buying is not a thing that you need. But you are doing so just to maximize the reward. So it's not right. 
right? It's better that you're swiping it because you need it and you know that you can pay for it. The rewards is just a plus factor. It's a bonus factor. So please be careful as well because once again, these credit card companies, they are also trying their best to entice you to spend money. But if you can pay for it, you're digging yourself into a hole and you're going to have a hard time paying for it, especially when the interest charges starts to compound. Okay, so that's the second thing, rewards, right? I have maximized this for quite some time. For example, there are credit card com companies that if you pay on time, of course, right, you don't have um, bad credit score whatsoever. And then the moment you start using it and you pay for it, it will be equivalent to like a plane ticket. So you get a free ride, a free plane ticket just because you are using your credit card. Is that happening? For those people who have credit cards, you know that it's true. Okay, so that's the second one. Third, convenience. Now here's the truth, guys. If you have a credit card, it's actually more convenient for you to monitor your expenses. And right now, especially right now during the pandemic, a lot of people want to have credit cards and a lot of people want to use the credit card as their payment method because it's cashless. It, it, you don't have um, contact with a different person, right? You just have to encode your details into an app, in this case, Food Panda, Grab Food, or whatsoever, and then it's paid. See, and you don't have to bring your, you don't have to bring a lot of cash in your wallet. If you have a credit card, you swipe it, you wait for the statement of account on the next month, and then you pay the outstanding balance, and you're good to go. See, so even in like purchases, it's easier for you to purchase if you have a credit card. The transaction is faster and um, there are well i'm just saying that there are a lot of benefits of you having credit card so i just want to break the mindset when people say credit cards are always bad or people think that if you have a credit card you don't know how to manage your finances no that's not the truth if you just know how to maximize the power of credit card you can max you can reap the benefits right with no risk if you just know how to make it happen and how to make it work okay now, um, if this video added value to you in any way, don't forget to click the like button so that it will also help the channel out. And I want to ask you this question. What are your thoughts about credit card? Do you find it good? What are the advantages that you can see? Do you find it bad? Just random thoughts about credit card. Okay? Maybe we know something that you don't and maybe you know something that we don't. Let us know in the comment section and see you on the next videos.